In this video I'll show you how to do an external corner in skating boards. As you can see I've already fitted that one there and I've done a scribe to fit that. Put that into place and mark the length and do a witness mark so you don't get confused when you go to the saw. And do the same on this piece. Not many walls are 90 degrees, so you'll need a sliding bevel to work out what angle you need. So place it on the corner and get a rough measurement of the angle of your wall. And tighten the screw down. As you can probably see that's not exactly 90 degrees so I'll show you now how to bisect that angle to get two mitres that will fit snugly around that corner. Mark it out on the back of this piece of skating board but you could do it on any piece of board You just mark out the shape of your wall and then you get any straight edge you draw a parallel line to that line and you draw a parallel line to the other line and then if you join these two up, that will bisect that angle. So if we cut our piece of skating board to that angle, and that one, they should meet up perfectly. So we take our sliding bevel again. Set it to that angle. And take that to the chop saw, and we should be able to cut the skating board correctly. Right, now we need to set the chop saw to the angle. Tip the blade over to the saw into the bag. little tip as well is 
if you try and fix them back to the wall and try and keep the, the mitre closed, you're going to struggle. So what I tend to do is glue the mitre together and then fix it back to the wall. So I just use a two part super glue. This one's called Mitre Fast or Mitre Bond, Mitre Mate. They all work pretty much the same. It's basically a two part super glue. You've got the glue and the activator. glue on one side activator on the other side because it's MDF I put quite a lot on because it will suck it off fast Bring them together, hold for 20 seconds, and now you have the perfect mitre to fix back into place. Any discrepancies you can fill with a bit of decorator's cork, but once they're screwed back there shouldn't be much gaps. Thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.